and all good weekend it's uh, ideal for us all here market analysts at cfds.com bringing you a review of the european markets for monday's trading the 25th of july 2016 okay folks let's try and decipher exactly what's happening here before i do please do visit trade signal so signals and market updates from leading providers www.tradesignal.com you can download it from the google play and the apple app store and my analysis is on there my updates with regards to technicals and fundamentals throughout the trading week are certainly uh, on there first and foremost okay in terms of the markets let's try and see exactly what's happened here economic data uh, data points first and foremost okay so we have the US markets finishing uh, stellar again finishing in the positive uh, we had a mixed European session on Friday German DAX was down the French CAC more or less flat but the FTSE higher and we had the Asian markets down overnight so, so no follow-through there at all US markets still uh, really resilient and now again well, I'll certainly do a separate video on the US markets and trying to see exactly where we are there okay so in terms of uh, going into Monday we had the potential terrorist incident uh, extremist incident in uh, the uh, in, in Munich okay so again Munich that's going to dictate things in terms of where the markets are going to move okay uh, now we also have the concerns with regards to the US uh, potentially raising rates as well so certainly keep an eye on that in terms of the economic data all coming in stronger than expected okay and uh, we had a mixed session in the uh, in the actual uh, european we had german and french data coming in better than expected whereas whereas we had the US, uk data coming in weaker than expected in terms of the pmis and then we had the us pmi stronger than expected so again certainly is a, a conundrum, uh, conundrum. Especially with regards to the, uh, the Nikkei and the uh, Shanghai certainly being into resistance. We had the Shanghai down 1% along with the Nikkei and yet the US and European markets certainly moved higher. So very, very strange. Okay, very, very strange uh, moves at present. Okay, in terms of economic data going into Monday's trading session, really is going to be the, uh, the G20 meeting. Really, that's not really coming to fruition at all. You have exports and imports out from, G from uh, Japan. Again, that's going to be quite important overnight. RBNZ, potential speech there. We have the IFO data on Monday, uh, and then we had New Zealand Kiwi data, trade imports, exports, and trade balance. So again, really it's going to be the uh, German data. Again, that's going to be important in terms of the next potential move. Okay, so let's see where we are technically, okay, because I think the technicals really will be able to help us here. As you can see in the U.S. markets on um, on Friday, we certainly uh, bounced off that pivot low. We haven't looked back ever since we bounced to 2160 on the S&P 500. So, again, very impressive. U.S. markets continuing their move higher, uh, especially on the Friday afternoon. In terms of where the markets are, first of all, I need to explain to you that the uh, the, the whole market really is moving on the back of USDJPY. Okay. So the daily chart USDJPY the bearish engulfing candle on the uh, Thursday and then obviously Friday we've just consolidated in the lower bound. So again indicating potential weakness. Now especially given the fact that Mr. Draghi hasn't actually enacted any QE, okay, again his net net negative European equity, so bear that in mind. So I'm taking that negative view given the fact that lack of QE from Draghi going into Monday's trading session, okay. Although uh, we have had stronger data from um, Germany and France, and that really does only support the fact that no additional QE is required, and therefore the Euro USD is looking to move higher. Uh, that's probably one of the reasons why we're seeing the USD JPY potentially uh, here holding resistance as well on the back of uh, anti geek helicopter money rhetoric. Rhetoric, rhetoric. So, Mr. Cor uh, well, basically, the uh, policymakers in Japan certainly talking down the potential uh, of, a, uh, of, of helicopter money being released which really has helped the uh, equity markets move higher because they attempted to front run the uh, the additional uh, stimulus okay so again boj certainly indicating resistance wants to move potentially lower let's bring up bring up the chart of the nikkei before i move on to european markets definitely the chart of shanghai and you can certainly see we've got weakness on the shanghai index Okay, so Nikkei 225. So you can see here, ever since we've closed the gap, we've certainly been struggling. Okay, and again, a strong argument for further moves in lower. 
terms of the FTSE 100. FTSE 100 first and foremost, let's see exactly where we are with the FTSE. Let's see if I can find it first and foremost. So volatility, I mean you can see the volatility index of the FTSE. Certainly breaking uh, the last previous support and now you have horizontal support down below. So certainly expecting that to hold you can see the volatility gauge is certainly indicating a uh, resistance. Also, just look at FTSE 250 as well. You can see the FTSE 250 now certainly looks exhausted with that bearish engulfing candle on Friday on the back of a weaker UK PMI. Okay, so just struggling to find the FTSE 100 chart on my uh, view. Bear with me. Oh. Okay, there we are. Okay, so FTSE uh, 100 on the daily chart of um, now looking at the daily chart, you, you still have that topping tail holding, which is the uh, resistance is seen at around 6740 zone. Okay, so along the 6740 you were to hold, you are still seeing weakness on the uh, the actual FTSE 100. In terms of the 60 minute chart, you can see that we certainly have this wall of resistance at 67.35 and then obviously you have 67.45, so 67.35, 67.45, certainly a wall of resistance and looking to move lower. 10 minute chart as well, certainly indicating resistance and therefore looking to move lower. You seem to be oscillating between 67.35 and uh, 67.20 at the moment. If you break that, then you have support around the uh, 6.705 and then you have some ultimate support at the 6.670 level. So. Certainly looking for a risk off tone, looking for weakness provided the resistance at 6735 to 45 were to hold, and then you are looking at further weakness on the FTSE 100. Okay, in terms of the German DAX, let's bring up the German DAX for you now. It really is a hard task today in terms of finding the. Uh, Correct charts. Okay, so looking at the daily chart of the German DAX, you have this diagonal trend line, taking the pivot high here, connecting it to here, and receiving the next two uh, potential resistance zones. And the German DAX is certainly wedged in between those zones. So again, indicating a risk off tone. Okay, folks. Looking at the 60 minute chart, you have a symmetrical wedge on the German DAX. You have an unfilled gap below, you have an unfilled gap above as well. So certainly you remain open to, to both directions, but my bias certainly is on the on the downside. Uh, again, German DAX here on the 10 minute chart, and again indicating to me that it remains weak. Okay, so again, be careful. Okay, be careful of any potential long positions. Again, I mean it is hard given the fact that the market continues to stru to float up, okay, and ignore fundamentals altogether with terrorism concerns rate hike concerns etc all ignored but for now we just have to respect the uh, resistance zones for now so key resistance here at the uh, 10 on 18 and 10 on 90 zone and indicating a potential risk of scenario so again you can see from the charts of the FTSE and the DAX certainly looking for further downside Okay, so bring up the chart of stock 600 as well. Uh, the last chart, so the daily chart of stock 600, you can see here, hanging potential hanging man candle, and it looks exhausted. Uh, 60 minute chart again, potential double top scenario here. Okay, so potential double top scenario, and then obviously looking to potentially move lower. So we seem to be oscillating between that uh, resistance zone at uh, 3410, 3410. Oh, should we say 3410 and obviously between um, 338 to 339. So again, looking for weakness on the Eurostock 600, sorry. So both looking for resistance. Looking at Eurostox 50, uh, the daily chart, the Eurostox 50, again, <clears throat> into resistance, into that key resistance. 60 minute chart, you can see we've got this wall of resistance, which is currently at 29980. So again, 2980 is going to be crucial with an unfilled gap below. 10 minute chart at the moment again you're looking at uh, resistance here at 2970 to 2980 and therefore looking for risk off okay so i think that's a good summation of european indices for now folks be sure to visit the uh, trade signal app and uh, download it today uh, also you can visit the uh, cfds.com trading website and take advantage of the 25 percent bonus okay folks goodbye now